All right, let's talk about the remaining material that we have in K305, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. So first up, problem set four. I just posted that over this weekend. Uh, so it's available now and it's due next Monday. And one thing to note about problem set four, there is a, a sixth question uh, that is an open response question uh, that it doesn't really have a correct answer. I'm interested in soliciting your thoughts and your ideas on an important unsolved problem in human movement science. So the first five questions are pretty similar to the problem sets you've done before. They will introduce you to this interesting problem called the muscle redundancy problem. Uh, and then question six will just ask you to uh, give some thoughts and reflections on uh, what you think uh, might be going on. So take a look at that and do let me know if you have any questions. The only brand new thing you need to know, I think there's one question about EMG, which I'll do a video on um, and uh, will be posted by the time you see this. Uh, so everything else there should be, uh, you should already have all the knowledge you need to do problem set four. Um, getting rid of article analysis three, I didn't really find any fantastic articles that were recent and super, super relevant to, to what we've been talking about. Um, and we have a lot else going on, so I think we'll just uh, not do article analysis three. If you were counting on those 10 points to boost your grade, um, please see those extra five points on problem set four. And then there's also, which I'm about to talk about, an extra credit option for exam four. Um, so those should more than make up the, the 10 points that would have been article analysis three. The equipment analysis project is due a week from Thursday. So it's due the Thursday of the final week of the course. As I said in introduction video, um, do check the feedback that I gave you from that. It looked like everybody had some, some really interesting project ideas and I'm interested to see what, uh, what you do with them. Uh, do keep in mind the suggestions I gave and then if you have questions, do reach out and ask. Um, ask me and or we can chat via email or, or hop on a zoom call um, the the ones that I think will cause you the most difficulties are sections three and four that's the mechanical analysis of the equipment and the scientific support um, I specific I, I'm gonna have some specific suggestions for this in an upcoming video but broadly I'm gonna encourage you to be, be specific and maybe focus on one specific joint or one specific motion versus saying uh, this equipment is going to help you increase muscle strength. And then with the other thing that might be tricky is if for some of you is finding scientific studies. As I'll talk about in an upcoming video, what might be helpful if you can't find anything about your equipment specifically is looking at whatever uh, whatever outcome you're going to get. Suppose your, your equipment is going to increase, um, I don't know, low back strength. Maybe you could talk about a study you find about low back strength and maybe injury risk in football or uh, rehabilitating after some condition or its relationship with performance in some sport. Uh, there'll be a video where I go through in detail uh, on a piece of equipment that, that uh, I've worked with some of this stuff, both with regards to the equipment analysis project and with regards to what we'll talk about this week, which is the steps you should go through when you are doing a mechanical analysis. And I think you'll find that useful for the equipment analysis project, especially section uh, three for that. Finally, exam four, uh, based on where we've gotten in this course, I think we're, we're to the point where uh, a, a on the clock multiple choice test is not really gonna accomplish what I would like it to accomplish. Um, we're pushing out into territory where you really will have to think deeply about uh, questions and, and that maybe isn't as representative of uh, what you'd be doing out on the field or in a clinic anyways, uh, if it were a multiple choice test. So exam four is going to be a take home test, open note. Uh, it will be more akin to a problem set than an exam. And how it's gonna work is that at the end of the day on the last, uh, that the Friday of the last week of courses, so next Friday, um, the exam will be posted and then it'll be due Thursday. And I guess I didn't finish uh, that, but it'll be due Thursday, the week of finals. Um, there are going to be two different options for it. One, they're both going to be a mechanical analysis of a, a exercise motion. And you won't know what that is until the exam is posted. 
One of the options will be an upper body motion. One of them will be a lower body motion. Other than the specific motion involved, the questions will be uh, very, very similar. Um, so you just have to pick one of these. You pick which, whichever one you find more interesting or whichever one you feel better prepared for. But if you want, you can do the other one for up to 10 points of extra credit, and that'll be going into the exam category of grades on Canvas. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about a step-to-step uh, -step guide for doing movement analysis that will help you on this exam. And then I'll also, I think, uh, maybe next week, post a little practice exercise that you can do if you want to get a feel for what this might look like. So those are the big remaining topics in this course, and uh, that should give you, hopefully, the, the information you need uh, to prepare for them. And, and as usual, don't, uh, don't hesitate to reach out via email if you have additional questions.